All right, so I have a really special video for you guys today. This is my most expensive pair of Jordans that I've ever picked up, and I'm gonna be unboxing this package from StockX for you guys today. What is going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check that link in the description. Today's video though is a really cool one for me at least because I ended up getting my most expensive pair of Jordans ever in this box. It's actually not just my most expensive pair of Jordans, it's my most expensive shoe like out of everything that I've actually paid for. This is the most expensive one I've actually paid for. So I do have shoes in my collection that are worth more potentially, like my Tokyo 5 like samples, but these are the most I've ever actually paid for a pair of shoes. And for those subscribers that are keeping track, I did pay a lot of money for this pair of the Dornbacker 6s because I had to pay resale. And I also paid resale for a pair of the Oregon State 9s. Go Beavs, but I had to do it because I wanted to get this pair in my collection. I think both of these were like seven, between seven and $850 each. This pair was actually $1,000 and I ended up getting this pair from StockX. Now this video is not technically sponsored by StockX, but I do have one coming up and in preparation for that video, I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing of this pair of shoes. Now I know that most of you guys out there already know what StockX is, but for those of you that don't know, I'm gonna explain it to you guys real quick. It's an online place where you can buy and sell authentic dead stock pairs of sneakers. It's honestly the number one place that you guys should go to know the true current market value of your sneakers and other items. StockX gets the shoes in hand and does a legit check on the shoes before they end up shipping to you. So basically they play the middleman so you don't get burned. Another thing that's really nice is the prices are usually a little bit lower than places like Fly Club and other consignment shops. So if you guys are actually interested in downloading the StockX app, check the link in the description and you can go ahead and download it to your mobile device. Why should you actually do this though? A couple of reasons that I can think of is one, you can actually tailor the experience to you and your shoe size, which makes it a lot easier to shop because sometimes the prices vary depending on the shoe size that you are. And also if you're planning on selling a pair, it automatically defaults to your size as well for the selling side. You can also set up alerts on each of the items that you have an interest in and that way you can pull the trigger when the time is right and when the price point is more lucrative to you. And another cool thing is you can actually enter your entire sneaker collection into StockX to know what your current market value is of your shoe collection, which is kind of fun because it really does treat it like a stock market and you have a real-time estimate of the value of your sneakers. Anyways, that's a backstory on StockX. If you've bought or sold on StockX in the past, leave a comment in the comment section and let everybody else know what your experience was. So let's go ahead and get into the big moment. I wanna show you guys what we got right here. Some people call my butterfly knife cheesy, but I will have you know that this is the only time I can use this is when I do an unboxing video. And um, it's really dull, I get it, I know. Uh, mostly because I don't wanna cut myself. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. This is my first look with you guys real time. I didn't pre-look at these. I've been waiting all day to actually see these in person. So let's see what we have here. Look at how dull this knife is, it's for real. It's craziness. And just so you know, that is the typical simple way to open and close a Billa song. Uh, yeah, like it's not of any risk and the blade doesn't come close to your fingers. I can do it other ways where I can risk cutting my fingers, but I choose not to. So let's take a look at what we got. We got some cool bubbles here. The kid's gonna love these. Actually, I've never seen bubble bubbles like that, but you can tell now this really narrows it down to what these could be. Let's pull this out of the box. Dudes. 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 I'm so excited right now. I cannot believe I finally got a pair of these. I know it's a super high BC sort of thing to do, but at the end of the day, like I liked what I saw with this pair of sneakers and it was one that I really, really wanted to get. And Let's take a look. So we have StockX instructions here. It's always nice to have. StockX stickers. They sent a whole bunch of them, which is cool. Lots and lots of StockX stickers. And from the creative minds of Cause and Jordan Brand, art meets basketball. These two global icons have defined greatness in their respective fields and now come together to deliver one of a kind Collaboration. Jordan Brand celebrates the iconic Air Jordan 4 with premium materials, detailed craftsmanship, and cause signature work. This is dope. And dust bag. Let's 
super, super nice. You can tell I kind of gave it away in this shirt a little bit with my Bape Cause tee. And here we go. Yes. So here we have it. These are what I ended up getting. I ended up getting the black Cause 4s. Now I wanted the black colorway more than the gray one because I um, I just really like this colorway. It's super simple, super clean. Let's put this all back in here real quick. Just want to look it over real quick to make sure it's 100% dead stock. I know a lot of you guys are out there stunned for the gram, taking your pictures real quick and then selling them. So I'm just making sure that you guys did so inside at least. It looks pretty good. Just taking a look at all the details. These look, these look crazy, man. I don't know if these, these glow in the dark, right? Oh yeah. I forgot. The glow is crazy on these, man. So I know some of you guys don't even know who Kaz is. Even after the Jordan release, you probably don't know. So I have a couple little notes for you guys. Kaz's real name is Brian Donnelly and he's from Jersey. And he actually worked for Disney on 101 Dalmatians. Kaz has his roots in graffiti though, which is something that I definitely love about what he's done. And then he expanded more into vinyl toys. And currently Kaz obviously makes a bunch of modern cultured art, which is something that a lot of us out there appreciate. I definitely love the artistic side of sneakers like the Cement Air Jordan 4s. I think that this is definitely an art piece for me just because of everything that it kind of represents. But then you have an actual artist creating an art piece on something that I consider art. Like it's an art inception blowing up on the shoe right here when I love every bit of it. So. Um, that's why I got these. I mean, honestly, like it's just a super fire colorway. The materials are super nice and conceptually it's a great shoe. I thought to myself, you know what, if I'm going to spend a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes, I want to make sure that it's a newer one, not an old retro that I love. And trust me, I have a lot of old retros that I love, like these Air Force 180s that have not ever retroed with the pump right here. Like, I definitely love my old retros, but I definitely wanted to go in a different route this way and get something new and more wearable because this is an art piece that I can't necessarily wear anymore to me because I'm afraid of it crumbling. This is one that I can actually appreciate now and actually rock. But question of the day, if you guys had a $1,000 maximum to be able to buy one pair of shoes on StockX, what pair of shoes would you end up buying? Go look at the website or download the app and look at the website and just report back in the comment section. Definitely want to know what other options you guys would have chose if you had $1,000 to buy a pair of shoes. So that is this. I will be doing a sponsored video by StockX coming up soon with the history of the Air Jordan 4, which is something I was really passionate about and excited to be able to bring you guys. And so expect that video very soon. But, uh, but these are just fire, dude. I'm so glad that I was able to get these. These ones are definitely going on feet and I'm really, really happy uh, to add these to my collection. But on a serious note, I wanna say thank you to all you guys out there watching this video. It definitely means a lot to me that you guys keep me engaged and you guys constantly check back and watch some of these videos that I end up posting. Uh, it makes it really fun for me for the last six years or so to be able to make content and have like two-way conversations with other people out there even though I'm just staring at a camera right now. It's just such a fun hobby that it's gotten into such a crazy like side business sort of thing for me to be able to do. I know a lot of other YouTubers do this full-time. This is just my part-time passion and it's definitely something that I am passionate about. So appreciate y'all for uh, rocking with me. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you guys support the video and thank you guys again for stopping by and watching the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified and if you guys wanna check the other videos on the screen at this time, you can click those videos and watch those videos. But thank you guys again for all of the constant support. More videos to come. Peace guys.